The Okanagan Sun took on the Kamloops Broncos on Sunday at the Apple Bowl in Kelowna. The favored orange and brown got the scoring started when Tommy Howe snuck the pigskin into the corner of the end zone while being taken down. And with the field goal, the Sun are up 7-0. In the middle of the first, Jeremy Morovic manages to get away from a defensive charge and fire an awkward throw to Dan Turek, who gets a touchdown. 14-0 Sun. A little later, Turek is at it again as he is left wide open. In the second, the Sun miss a field goal but manage to pick up an extra point as they take down a Kamloops player in the end zone. 22-0 Sun. Then Howes gets his second of the game when Morovic fires a bomb and finds him streaking into the end zone. However, the Sun failed to kick it through the uprights for the extra point. The Okanagan Sun extend their lead to 35 with just over a minute to go in the first half when Morovic ditches the ball to Stephen Doge who then charges through the Broncos defense for the score. On the following kickoff the Broncos scramble for the ball then fumble and the Sun recover just yards from the end zone which in turn sets up what looks to not be a touchdown but after a brief conference is ruled to be one. 42-0 Sun. To cap off the first half, the Sun managed to pick off a pass by the Broncos and run it in for a 49-point lead heading into the second half. In the third quarter, Kamloops coughs up the ball once again and Carson Park steamrolls down the field but is eventually taken down, which sets up Armand Bokic for the score. In the fourth, the Sun missed their field goal attempt but managed to bring down the Kamloops player for yet another extra point. The Broncos did manage to get a touchdown but failed to get their extra point after a bad snap. The Okanagan Sun win this one convincingly 50-6. to Overall, it was a good day. Me and Jeremy, we got that chemistry down now and uh, could have been a couple more but Jeremy ended up hitting the uprights on one of them. Our team's coming together really well. Uh, it was a little bit, little bit shaky at the very beginning of the season but overall, it's coming together now and defense is really stepping up to the plate. As a whole, you know, the first half was phenomenal. O-line played fantastic. The run game was there. The pass game was there. So. You know, collectively, you know, as, as a whole unit, we look fantastic, so I can't complain at all. In a game like this, where the score is so lopsided, the coaching staff feel it is important to rest their veteran players and play the young up-and-comers. To be able to get ahead in the, the timely fashion that we did to get the young guys in, it keeps them interested, it gives us a good, you know, gauge of where they're at so far, so we know what we need to do in practice to get them that much better. And it only helps us when we get to our 40-man roster for practice to know where our depth is and where we're lacking. So it's it's a great advantage to do it. We got a lot of our uh, backups in at second half today, and they got a lot of playing time today, which is excellent. It leads them into the further game. So that's really, really key for them to get in some playing time in an actual game situation rather than that practice situation when they're not so ready to go. The Okanagan Sun look to improve their record to 8-1 and on Saturday as they take on the Huskers in Chilliwack. We're going to have our game plan, we're going to put it together, we expect our guys to execute it and we're going to go in there and bust our humps to get another W. Their next home game is on the 9th against the Vancouver Island Raiders. Game time 1 p.m. at the Apple Bowl. From Kelowna for Shaw, I'm Greg Truman.